Hi, this is Will Gray with WFG National Title. I'm excited to share this quick tip with you because in real estate, like in everything else, knowledge is power. If you'd like to see more, subscribe. And if there are any other topics you'd like to learn about, please let me know in the comments. Thanks. If you love HGTV, this scenario will sound very familiar. A savvy investor picks up a rundown house in need of a bit of rehab in a desirable area for $400,000. They invest $50,000 into fixing the property up, and then they sell the property for $500,000, a cool $50,000 profit. For real life investors, this is often a very true story. And in the true story, our real life investors face a real life question. How much of that 50,000 profit do we get to keep? There are significant costs involved with the purchase and resale of a property, and one of them is title insurance. In California, obtaining a policy of title insurance guaranteeing clean title to the new buyer costs in the neighborhood of $1,595. That's more than 3% of the profit in the deal. Savvy investors can greatly reduce this closing expense and retain more of their profits by employing an interim binder. Now, what is an interim binder? In this scenario, the investor would not obtain a policy of title insurance protecting their ownership interest in the property. Instead, they obtain the binder, which is a commitment to issue a policy of title insurance at a later date. Based on a $400,000 sale price, the original seller is paying $1,375 for the investor's title insurance needs. The interim binder costs an additional 10%, $137 in this example. What do they get for this money? When the investor sells the property to a new buyer in the next two years, they can apply the $1,375 paid by the seller toward the resale title premium. $1,595 in our scenario. The remainder owed is a mere $220. Add the cost of the binder and the investor has only paid $357 for title insurance, saving $1,238 compared to the full title premium, more than 2% of our hypothetical profit margin that can stay in their pockets. Here are a couple more important details about interim binders. The binder expires after a period of two years, but it can be renewed for a third year by paying the same 10% binder fee paid at purchase for a second time. It's also important to note, acquiring a binder instead of a standard title policy does not leave the investor unprotected against potential clouds on title. Remember that a binder is a commitment to issue a policy of title insurance at a future date. If title is found to be defective, the investor can immediately convert the binder to a policy of title insurance and submit the necessary claim. If you're a real estate professional, make sure that you educate your potential fix and flip investors about this product. I promise they will love you for it.